Hello everybody! Welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer, and today I want to feel fancy, so I'm going to put on my collar. <laughs> it probably does not match my outfit, but that is perfectly okay, because I have pajama bottoms on anyway. It don't matter. We're working from home. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I wanted to feel a little fancy-pancy. Get a lot of compliments on this pretty little collar from yesterday's video. I had a couple people ask for a tutorial. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the future. All right, today is Tuesday Tea with Cinnamon, and we got our hot water in our Cinnamon Stitches cups, Tuesday Tea with Cinnamon. These are available in my Teespring shop, which is always linked in the description box below. You too can have a hot cup of, or a cold, you can put whatever you want in here, I don't care. But if you wanted to have a cup to share with us on Tuesdays, that's available. Now today's tea that we're featuring was gifted to me from Christine. Christine is a very loyal subscriber to this channel. She sent me this amazing package from Blend B. Blend B. Um, here's their information. You want to pause that, screenshot it, write that information down. Blend B. Now, well, where, there, I know that there was a receipt with this. I know that there was a gift receipt with this. I have no idea where it went. No idea. I know this from Christine because she emailed me. <laughs> and she let me know. I swear I had the paper. Anyway, before our tea gets hot, I got my little, this is my favorite diffuser, the OXO brand. You put your loose leaf tea blends in here. You usually pour the water over the top of this, but you can just as easily just sink that down into the hot water and then fill it. And can I ask what you're doing? Okay, we don't need that? No. Little man is home from school today because he refused to sleep last night. So, you, A, don't bust in here. You are in your underwears. No, you're not. <sighs> he thinks he wants to be on the video. So, <laughs> fun times, fun times. <laughs> she sent me some tea from Blend B. She sent me three kinds. I was so excited when I opened this. The kind that we're having today that I'm going to hurry up and open up before my tea water gets too cold is the Cinnamon Stitches Blend. You read that right. We have our own blend on Blend B. Now, <laughs> from what I understand the way this works, you can request a custom blend made for you. And you can give them some guidelines and they will blend a specific tea for you. Um, I don't think that Christine picked out the flavors that are in this. I think that Blend B did. However, according to the information that they sent me, on this how to reorder a custom blend if you are interested in the cinnamon stitches blend <laughs> um they keep every recipe on file so if you like the blend just as you originally made it we can re recreate it for you so this may take emails to blend b and be like hey i want the cinnamon stitches blend and i will show you <clears throat> the label so that you can have more information on what is in this. Um, I don't know if you have to have the person's original order information, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to contact them and say, hey, Cinema Stitches Blend, and maybe I'll shoot them an email too and see if they can have that available in case anybody wants to order it. Um, so this has cold brewing and hot brewing instructions. There's a child at my leg. <laughs> And the ingredients of this is chamomile, rose hips, hibiscus, raspberry leaf, stevia leaf, orange, mango, and lemon, natural flavor extracts, caffeine free, organic. What does that smell like to you? It smells like, 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 I forgot what, uh, it smells like avocado. It smells, it doesn't smell like avocado. And I also, I also got a, 
We also got a gift basket from Pameleon, so thank you, Pameleon, for sending that out. All right, this is what the tea looks like. And it is very flowery looking. There's lots of like heavy duty chunks. No. Yeah, so um, we got a gift basket from Premier Yarns, and I got a tea that has wheat. She can't drink, but I can drink it. The but tea doesn't have wheat in it. What? London? The tea does not have wheat in it. You just wanted the box because you thought it was cool. Yeah, so we got some uh, London tea. Alright, so. It's the Big Ben London clock. The Cinnamon Stitches blend. It smells very, very lemony, citrusy in the packaging. Does it smell like lemons to you? Yeah. Very strong lemon peel. And it kind of looks like... I, I, there's little flowers in here. Let me see. What did I say was in here? Cam chamomile. There's actual whole chamomile flowers in here. One of my sisters is actually allergic to chamomile. She can't drink anything with chamomile in it because she has really bad allergies, but I'm not. <laughs> it smells very, very lemony. <clears throat> I do have my standby favorite honey of all time from La Vida Loca in Culpeper, Virginia. <clears throat> in case it needs it. But this has stevia leaf in it, so I don't think that it's going to need um, tea. This is my tea. That's your tea. This is my tea. You want to smell it? It's just black tea. You smell it. It smells like tea. It smells like classic tea, but from <laughs> it's, London. It's black. It's just basic black tea, baby. Can you? There's nothing spectacular about that tea. Can you cook me this after the video? I don't think you will like it, but I can definitely cook it for you. <laughs> Especially since there's hot water in my kettle. I'm going to let that set for a few minutes. And while we're doing that, I am going to have this one go back into the living room. And I will show you guys some happy mail, so I will be right back. I had absolutely zero interest in him being in the video. Or I shouldn't say interest. I had no intention <laughs> in him being in this video. But, as a little man often does, he has mind, a mind of his own and has ideas of his own. And we just got to kind of go with it. <clears throat> he also insisted, absolutely insisted on me fixing him a cup of black tea. So while it was 20 seconds for you, not, it was two seconds for you. It was a couple minutes for me. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you, he hates tea of all kinds, any flavor. Every time I've tried to get him to drink tea, he hates it. But he insisted he wants black tea so he can have Tuesday tea with cinnamon today. <laughs> <sighs> so, aside from the Cinnamon Stitches blend, which we're featuring this week, she also ordered me Mermaid Lagoon, which we will be trying out. The next two Tuesday teas with cinnamon will be these two extra flavors, because why the heck not? The Mermaid Lagoon is, and I like that they have little blurbs on the front. So this says, the Cinnamon Stitches blend says, a blend of happiness, admiration, gratitude, and love, blended especially just for you. Enjoy. Isn't that cute? And then the Mermaid Lagoon says, this tea is a mesmerizing addition to your day. Listen to the siren song of Mermaid Lagoon and embrace your inner mer. And the flavors for this are raspberry leaf, lemongrass, hibiscus, ginger, rose hips, blue cornflower, mango, and passion fruit. Oh, that sounds so good. And then finally, I like this one because it's got my name on it too. This is Crimson Kiss. It says, pucker up, Jen. <laughs> The second this bold crimson mix hits your lips, you're going to want more. Perfect for cold brewing. Say and sip and say, mmm, give me more. It is hibiscus, lemongrass, orange peel, ginger, and stevia. 
So that's going to be interesting. So those will be the next two weeks. I might actually cold brew the Crimson Kiss since it says that. <sighs> and see what we get out of that. All right. I think it's been long enough that we can try this tea. This tea has a delightful red pink color. I hope I made that strong enough. The little flowers bloomed quite a bit. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Let's see if I get that to focus. There we go. They bloomed quite a bit. That is the, um, why can I not remember the name of that? I just said it. <laughs> chamomile. Those are the little chamomile. They, they bloomed quite a bit. I like tea that blooms and puffs up. It's still very strong of lemon, which I like is good. Needs a little bit of honey. There's a little bit of a bitterness to that tea. Put some of my favorite honey in there. Stir it around. And then I'm going to show you guys while we talk. I'm going to show you some, uh, um, some happy mail that I received. Aside from the tea. Much better. What is that flavor I'm picking up? There is a <clears throat> It's gotta be the mango. It's gotta be the mango. There's like a I, I want to say funkiness, but it's not gross funkiness, but there's like a funkiness. It's gotta be the mango. Alright, so I got lots of mail. And like I said in yesterday's video, um, some of my packages got returned to sender, and I don't know why. I don't know why. This package, I do have quite a few packages here, though. So if you don't see it here, and I haven't shown it recently, it might be coming back to you. But I think I'm only missing like two or three packages that showed up in my app. So hopefully there's no more missing. This one came a while ago. This is from Loveland, Colorado. Um... This one came a little while ago and I forgot I left it in the dining room and it got mixed up with some other paperwork and stuff. So I forgot that this came. This came from Karen in Loveland, Colorado. I'm trying to see when the ship date was. Yeah, this came in February. <laughs> so I'm sorry that it took so long, Karen, to show this. Um, it just got mixed up with some other stuff. Oftentimes something will come in the mail and little man will get excited about it and try to take off with it. Happens quite frequently. There's a little note in here. Here's the extra happy mail I promised. She couldn't find anything for Lucas or Mr. Cinnamon or Low Man or Mr. Cinnamon, but that's perfectly fine. They don't need they don't need stuff. Um There was something in here for Juju, but I gave that to her already. And then in here is, and actually this probably will go to Little Man. He loves these things. Um, he has lots of, like for example, when we went to um, Washington, D.C., he has the leftover cards for the subway, for the metro. So he likes to have badges, like his daddy has to have badges for work. So he, he you know, he wants to be like his dad. This clips onto your clothes or your shirt. And then you can clip this onto, she actually said, I believe, that she clips her scissors onto this. And so she clips it to her shirt so she doesn't lose her scissors, which is a brilliant idea. I might actually keep it for that, but it's a, a retractable badge keeper. All right, how do I retract? Ow! <laughs> All right. It's on a string. And then when you push... If I can figure out how to do it again. See? There we go. I did it. That thing's dangerous. <laughs> I've left in the wrong hands. And then it's a Colorado postcard. Beautiful. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Colorado. 
because um, I, Colorado is gorgeous. It's beautiful. However, we went to Colorado Springs and I got um, altitude sick. And I also, at the same time, before I realized that I was allergic to wheat, <laughs> I was traveling with all four kids with us, so my two nieces and my two ch birth children. And um, I got altitude sick. And even though I was drinking water, I still felt really horrible. I actually was convinced I was dying. I felt, I got so sick. Um, and this is before I realized I had a wheat allergy. And so because I was having so much stomach problems, I was like, oh, I'm just going to have like really plain foods, bread. <sighs> Which just kept making me sicker and sicker and sicker and couldn't figure out why eating a bagel in the morning was making me sick all day and all night. And I mean, I was sick because I had altitude sickness on top of a really bad like stomach flare up from the wheat that I was not supposed to be ingesting. It was intense. So I have really bad memories of being in Colorado and we were there for like over a week because Mr. Cinnamon had some conference he had to go to and it was in the middle of a family vacation. So we took time out for his conference and then proceeded with the vacation. That same trip, my dog also died. So I have a love-hate relationship with Colorado. It's beautiful. <laughs> we went to um, uh, Garden of the Gods. Oh, that place is so gorgeous. And it was at the tail end of the trip, so I was actually starting to feel better because I got enough water in my system to counterbalance the altitude sickness and the wheat poisoning. So, <laughs> yeah, crazy times. All right, so she also included this. I'm going to actually cut this off the plastic so they can show you. This is cool. I've never seen one of these before. This is a phone lanyard. Okay, this is a fake phone. Um, you hook this up to your phone. And I hope my phone fits in here. Fake phone. Little man's going to love this. He loves technology, whether it's real or fake. You hook this on your phone. I really hope this fits. I have a big phone. And, oh, it fits. It fits. Look at that. And it's my favorite character, Stitch. And this is, let's see if I have something that could go in there. Of course, had I not locked him out of the room, he has Metro cards that would work. You can stick your ID or your credit card or whatever in this little pocket here. And then if you don't have pockets or a purse, like I very rarely have my purse with me, you can just throw this over your neck and your phone is right there. I love this. Oh my goodness, this is, I've never seen one of these before. Um, my niece has the pocket thing that hooks on her phone. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna use this. My big giant head. That is really neat. So that is, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's neat though. Thank you so much for that. I am, I am very much all over the place. I didn't even give you a review what this tea tasted like. So without the honey, it is a little bit bitter. <clears throat> With the honey, the bitterness is gone. I can definitely taste the chamomile. And the mango has even died down a little bit, but there's just a little, like I said, there's a little funkiness going on in there. This is a really different tasting tea. It is not like any, it's not, so, and it may be that I just didn't throw in, I made it kind of a light, a, um, it's not a real strong batch. And usually I make my tea really strong, but I don't think I would like this really strong. Tastes like summer. And the chamomile is coming through really, really strong. Um, it kind of tastes grassy or it tastes the way weeds smell. <laughs> if that makes sense. So, all right, moving on. This is from Debbie in Kansas. Which these kind of go with um, the gift from... Karen, which is hilarious. Actually, I thought she had a note in here too. She does. She does. 
she's reverse it karen was not the one that was telling me about these badge holders <laughs> it's so funny because i was just talking yesterday hang on i got i got to show you guys okay i was just talking yesterday about my kleenexes my my tissue box holder um i received these from two of my my youtube friends here they're, they're not youtubers they're friends i met on youtube um these came within like a week of each other and this is why i think that you guys are all in sync with each other and this is what makes my community particularly so special to me because you guys are so like-minded <laughs> and it makes me happy because I received these with like a week or two apart. They are both plastic canvas type stuff for tissue holders because I wasn't feeling well when I received those, which I've used all of the Mickey Mouse ones and I'm now well into the stitch box. <clears throat> and then I got the badge holder from Karen in Colorado and then... This is why I got confused. Who's this from? Debbie in Kansas. Make sure you get everybody's name right. Sent me three badge holders. So yes, little man can have one of these. <laughs> not the stitchy poop. Probably not to make you out. He loves Minnie Mouse. I'm just saying. He loves Minnie Mouse. So I'll probably give him this one. He's always loved Minnie Mouse. Um, how do I open this package? Cut it. For, and when we the first time we took him to Disney World, he was like eight months old, and um, I thought because he watched Mickey Mouse Clubhouse every single day, and I thought for sure he was gonna go crazy when he saw Mickey. He did not care about Mickey. He just wanted Minnie Mouse, and ever since then he has been a Minnie Mouse fan. Now this is the same thing. It's a badge holder. <laughs> it clips onto your shirt. It's got the retractable doodad. And the the part that you can connect your scissors to is what Debbie used it for. You can connect your scissors to. I don't know if these scissors will connect because these are kind of big. Let's see. Yep, they fit. Look at that. And she clips it to her shirt so she doesn't lose her scissors. I'm sure there's other things you could also clip to these. Um, but little man's going to have so much fun with this. This is a brilliant idea. So you clip it and then you got your... Because I'm always losing my scissors. Always. Or someone walks off with them. The thing with these though. These are very sharp and these will stab the heck out of me. But. <laughs> yeah. That's a Tsum Tsum. Those are little stuffies from Disney. So there is Minnie Mouse. Mickey Mouse. And Stitchy Poo. So thank you so much Debbie and Karen. Fantastic. So they had the same idea to send me the badge holders. Although the Karen package came well over a month ago, so it was kind of like a month apart, but it, I got them at the same time. Well, I didn't get them at the same time. I opened them at the same time. So um, I will be right back. Stay right where you are. So sorry about that. This video feels like it's a hot mess already. <laughs> Okay, then, finally, not finally, I have more packages than this. I, I'm i making myself winded, as you can tell. I'm up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> I got Happy Meal from Amy. This is not finally, there's more. Amy is in Florida. Amy has, she has pretty much spoiled me. She has spoiled the heck out of me for quite a while. What is in this box? I think this is a reused box. That's an old box. I had to remember. Oh, I also, I also, I got some cards that I stuck in there. <laughs> there is a take it easy little card on here. Oh, it's a postcard. I don't know about you, but I don't like working with Karen Simply Soft. However, I saw these colors and it screamed cinnamon stitches. I hope you like it. Love, Amy. Um, <laughs> same. I'm not a big fan of Karen Simply Soft. It's very splitty. It runs on the thin side. It's not my favorite yarn to work with. I actually reach for it almost last. It's soft. But um, I actually prefer Premier Yarns Eversoft. However, she's right. These colors scream cinnamon stitches and this will get used. I gotta take it out of the plastic. It's so pretty. 
I'm so glad my scissors are right here today. Should make a little clip. These colors are cinnamon stitches all day long. And I'm definitely uh, stocking up on the bright colors. This is the color Rainbow Bright. Oh, Rainbow Bright. It's 100% acrylic. It's a five ounce ball. It's 235 yards medium, number four. But like I said, it really works up like a number three. And once my camera focuses and stops being so bright, it's very, very colorful. There we go. See, my camera just takes a minute to like die down because it is technically a movie camera. <laughs> so it will gradually shift and it will um, focus and it will gradually shift in the lighting so as to not give like a stark switch to make it more cinematically appealing. <laughs> it's nonsense, but whatever. So she sent me three of those. So thank you so much, Amy. Like I said, Amy spoils me. Um, she sends me gifts quite frequently and she has gifted my family with quite a few really nice gifts, which I totally appreciate, Amy. Um, this is from Oklahoma. Oh, it's from Connie. Um, she sent me a St. Patrick's Day card. Isn't that cute? My one and only St. Patrick's Day card. Bright skies, fun times, things that make you smile. Wishing you the perfect St. Patrick's Day. And ironically enough, today I'm cooking corned beef, so... That's perfect. There's nowhere near St. Patrick's Day. And this is from Debbie in Louisiana. She sends me, uh, we've talked about Debbie quite a few times here. She sent me a letter to, from my favorite pen pal. She's my pen pal now because I did send her a letter back. So now we're even. <laughs> she sent me about 100 notes and letters. I sent her one, we're even. <laughs> Anyway, I do feel better about myself that I responded to her once. I, I really do. But she sends me lots of really nice letters and postcards and just lovely little notes in the mail. And quite often, I will go to the post office box and there will be several packages and I will shove them all into one so that I don't lose anything. Oh, hang on. That is a sensory. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, sorry. I washed my hands when I got up a minute ago and whew, dry skin plus papery products is not a good sensory thing. It actually makes my teeth hurt. The sensory thing has gotten much worse in the past couple of years because my hands are so dry all the time that it's like chalks or nails on a chalkboard or like, I can't even describe it. It's so bad. All right, hopefully that helps. I apologize, that was, I gotta be careful with that. I can't touch paper bags anymore. Um, when we go shopping at Aldi sometimes, well, quite frequently, I forget my Aldi bags. Um, and Mr. Cinnamon will buy paper bags and I can't even touch them. So he has to load the groceries into the grocery bags and then carry them to the car. And then when we get home, the kids and him have to carry them into the house. And then when I go to put the groceries away because I have control issues. I need them put away the proper way and in the proper place. Otherwise they just get thrown in the cabinets and the refrigerator. And I, when we do a grocery shop, I clean out the refrigerator and I can't even touch the paper bags to unload the groceries. So I have to have someone standing there handing me things because the sensory, it's just, I cannot, it makes my teeth hurt. It makes like me cringe in my soul. Cardboard boxes often will <laughs> do the same thing. All right, this package, that envelope has to go to the garbage because I cannot touch that envelope. All right, Jennifer, this is from, look at how cute these little cats are. Look at how cute, little kitties. This is from Angel. I forgot where Angel's from because I just threw the packaging away because I'm a dork. <laughs> All right, so Angel sent me some Day Glow. So now I have, I have lots of these. I actually, hang on, I'll show you. I have a box down here with makes and yarn in it. Ugh. 
This is my super saver box. <laughs> it's not all super saver, but it's super saver. And then I have some Eversoft in here because they didn't fit on my shelf. And so this is like my extras, but mostly my super saver. And then this one is Bernat. I don't remember, but cozy. And then this is a mystery yarn. But I got, if you guys recall, I ordered the Day Glow because I got the Day Glow from the thrift store and then I ordered some more from Hershner's last week. So now she sent me another partial skein. She goes, I'm pretty sure that this is the same yarn. And this is absolutely the Day Glow from Super Saver. So it's just neon yarn. But I love, I love, 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 love neons. And as soon as the weather warms up, because we get a few warm days and then cold days. And right now it is a cold day. The wind chill this morning was supposed to be 18 degrees Fahrenheit, freezing cold. <clears throat> as soon as the weather warms up, I'm going to dye some neon yarns because I've been waiting. But I have to have it warm because I hang my yarn outside to dry. Because I don't have room in my house to hang it up. I mean, I could hang it in the shower, but, like, who wants to put a rig up in the shower when I can hang it outside? And when it air dries, it gets that wonderful, like, fresh air smell to it. So, I have so many projects. It's time to make a trip to a donation place. And then this came from Keisha. Keisha lives here in, in the same city as I do. Um, I've met Keisha I have been to Keisha's house. Keisha is my homegirl. Um, <clears throat> she sent me... Now, she sent me some delicious tea. I love this tea. I have a bunch of it now. I have over three boxes worth now. <laughs> Thanks to my wonderful friend in the UK. Um, so she sent me a couple more. There's like five here. of oh, the sweet rhubarb. My absolute favorite tea right now is that. And then she also sent me some Star Wars Mandalorian pins. My family is super into the Mandalorian series. I think a lot of people got into it because of Baby Grogu. Or Baby Yoda, some people call him. Um, <laughs> my family really got into it. See, now Mr. Cinnamon, is he's, not, he's a nerd. He's a nerd, okay? He's a nerd. He's a very smart person, but he's also nerdy. Um, which I don't think the two are the same like a nerd is a personality trait you know and he should he's also really smart on top of it he has i don't know that he's a star wars junkie i wouldn't call him that at all and i am not i'm a fair weather star wars fan fan <laughs> i don't believe that i have seen the original three movies all the way through i know that i've seen the very first star wars movie that was ever made and I have seen episode one, two, and three that was made, what, in the 90s, 2000s, 90s, 2000s, whatever. Ep whatever those episodes are with Anakin Skywalker. Like I said, I am a fair weather fan of Star Wars. I like some stuff I'm not, like, all in. Mr. Cinema's not all in either, but he knows way more about Star Wars than I do. Um... <laughs> I started to get into Star Wars when the first Anakin Skywalker movie came out. I was into the Anakin Padme storyline. I really like those three set of movies, which I cannot think of the names of anything right now. So my brain is like fried. But it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> I know there's going to be a couple of Star Wars fans in the comments that's correcting me on anything that I say wrong because that tends to happen. That's okay. It's alright. Um... I really like the Mandalorian series. Um, I just love the Mandalorian character. I love him. I just really like, I don't know. I just like him. He's a good, uh, it's a good show. Um, the Boba Fett series that is out right now. Um, they watched it without me, so I didn't really fully get into it because I was busy doing other things when they were watching it. While we're talking, Keisha also sent me the cutest postcard ever. This is a Disney snow white postcard i love that i might actually frame that and put it on my wall i love disney stuff i love disney stuff um so i i i like the mandalorian series i also and this is funny i am obsessed <laughs> 
I am obsessed with um, the Star Wars Land in Hollywood Studios at Disney World. It just is so cool and so like immersive. I could literally sit in there all day and be perfectly happy just watching the people because there's a lot of like hardcore Star Wars junkies that go through there and they're like dressed in the outfits and they got the lightsabers that they just built or like the droid depot, which I actually have a droid. <laughs> I have a droid. He is adorable. I built him. I love him. He is in my yarn closet right now, but I, I do want to make room in here for some of my like cool stuff. Like I have some, um, knickknacks and bric a brac I want in this room so I just need to find room I really want my droid to be in here my droid is amazing he's like a little r2d2 but like I custom built him so he's my colors and he's like my design that was the coolest experience me and Juju did that together because she really wanted a droid and I'm like you know what that'll be a mother-daughter thing we can go build droids together and so we did that and then um a couple years later her and her dad had a father-daughter experience and they built lightsabers together which was really fun and they both got emotional and teary-eyed when they built the lightsabers she's far more into star wars than i am that's like her and her dad love watching the movies together it is a really cool experience um that's an empty bag <clears throat> no i went way off on a tangent okay so this last package is was sent to me through Amazon from I'm gonna pull the card and make sure I get her YouTube name right and I will tag her below as well. I think it's Queen Nadira. Amazon is notorious for giving you 18 gift receipts and none of them say any information on them. Yes. I am Queen Nadira on YouTube, I purchased these hooks for you to see if you like them. I hope you share them on your channel with your opinion. Enjoy your gift from Queen Nadira. Now, I am definitely going to do a review on these hooks. You will see these hooks again in the future. I already looked up the prices for these. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of those with the Furls hooks. I know you guys have seen the Furls hooks a lot, but that's like my favorite hook. Like, that's the hook I go to. Um... I also got a card from Barbara in Orlando. We have all heard about Barbara on many channels. She sends cards and postcards to all of us podcasters. She's really sweet. So, hi, Barbara. Um, thank you for my card. <laughs> so, back to the crochet hooks from Queen Nadira. Nadira. Try not... I, I tend to roll my R's, which no one else in my family can do. <laughs> but it's fun. I like doing it. All right, so this is, I'm going to say Omi Crochet. These are, they look like Furl's knockoff hooks. And when I opened them, I freaked out a little bit because, let's see if I can find what I did with it. Hang on, hang on. Everything, everything is out of reach, and I apologize that I'm out of I'm out of frame right now all right so I grabbed two things because I wanted to show you this made me super excited um which one's which which is which all right so it comes in the same type of box and I don't have a furls box these boxes look exactly like the furls boxes that's the expensive one so they're not expensive. These hooks, these Omi hooks, are a fraction of the price of the Furls hooks, which is why I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the hook. It's got protective foam around it. Let's see if I can get that off. I'll wait for my light to look at that. Does that not look like a furls hook? The difference, the main difference, is that. So I'm gonna show you a furls hook. This is obviously way bigger. That's the difference. 
there's not a lot of colors of these Omi hooks at all. They feel the exact same in my hand, but I am going to use them and give you a very detailed opinion. The one thing I noticed that's different between the Omi and the furls is you see how pointy the head is on the Omi? Furls are really, really rounded on the heads and sometimes that gives me a struggle because I can't get into my stitches if the stitches are tight. So I'm very, very excited to use this because it has, it's a furl, it looks just like a hook, except it has more of a pointy head. They are even really close to the same size. So we are going to be doing a review on these bad babies. Now, she sent me two of these. She sent me a resin one and she sent me a wood one. Now the wood one is sticky and I have to wash it. When I got the Amazon package, it was out of the box partially and the hook is sticky as if a child with dirty hands has touched it. Let's see if I can get that out. Same thing, this wood hook has the same type of inline head, but it's much more pointy than, than, not than, than, the furls. This is the furls. You see how much pointier the head is? It's finally a lighter color. All right, now, what makes this hook so extra cool to me is, you see this? That is resin inlay. Let me see if I can get to focus. Resin inlay. Look at how pretty that is. So basically what they do is they break the hook. They break the wood hook and they fill in the inside with the resin. And then of course they form the hook. It is so beautiful. This is what amazed me okay now this is comparing apples to grapefruit quite honestly um furls has hooks that have the same idea of the broken hook with the resin inside right and obviously there's way more detail along the body but what I fell in love with was the beautiful resin in the middle. This Omi hook retails for $12 on Amazon. Um, when I test these out side by side, I'm going to test this against a basic wood hook for fairness. And then I'm going to test it against this hook. You have seen these, this hook. This is a furls hook. You have seen this on my channel. I did not care for it. I way overpaid for this hook. I was very upset that I overpaid for this hook. So I'm going to compare the Omi against both of the furls and let you know my honest opinions. Um, this was $12. I paid $80 for this hook because it is an alpha. I don't like the way this hook feels. It's much shorter than the other furls hooks, so it feels like a toy in my hand. I've said this before, I way overpaid for this, but it's beautiful, it's beautiful. $12, $80. So I am going to have some very strong opinions. <laughs> very strong opinions. But I'm very excited to show these hooks to you. Um, Omi versus Furls. That will be coming up later in the ugh, later in the week. Definitely coming up later in the week. So keep an eye out for that. Let me keep everything separated so I can remember what I have to do later in the week. But yeah, thank you so much, Queen Adira. Thank you so much. Like, I'm so excited. 
Um, I know that she has, I'm positive that it was her that has suggested these hooks in the past, but a lot of times I get suggestions and I forget because my brain does not always work. Um, but she sent them to me so, so generously, and I'm absolutely going to do a review on those versus the furls hooks because I'm very, very interested. I'm very interested. I did have a negative experience with furls very recently. One of my Odyssey hooks, the metal ones, broke. It broke here at the shaft while I was crocheting. I was very upset because this is supposed to be solid metal. And then when I contacted Furls, I almost felt like I was being accused of being a liar. I had pictures of the broken hook. My car, my, it broke in my car. The reason I take the metal hooks in the car with me is because I was like, I figured, you know, they're more durable. They're metal. I was crocheting and I literally felt it just go limp in my hand and it broke at the seam. I sent them pictures. I told them who I was. I was like, can you replace this? And she was like questioning me. She was like, well, I don't show that you even have a pur purple furrows hook according to my, because I emailed her from Cinnamon Stitches. From Cinnamon Stitches, I was like, my hook broke. Like, what, what do I, how do we handle this, you know? I was crocheting with it and it snapped in my hand and it should not have snapped in my hand while I'm crocheting with it. So I was upset, you know, and I was, I'm always very polite to customer service because it's not their fault that she didn't make the hook. But when she came back questioning me, she's all, you didn't even order. And she gave me my personal email account. You didn't order a purple hook through that personal email. I was like, no, my husband ordered it through his account. And then I told her, I think it's like a four millimeter hook. And oftentimes these little stickers on the bottom peel off. And I tried looking for one the other day. And I, I know, I don't know if I have one. Yeah, look, see the sticker comes off. That's what happened with my purple one. And I was like, I'm not positive. I think it was like a four millimeter, 4.5 or something like that. And she like came back, like accusing me of lying. Like you don't, ha he never ordered a purple one in that size. And, and it's actually this size. And I was like, okay, but here's a, something that else happened with furls. <laughs> when he ordered me, he ordered me a ton of hooks. He ordered me like eight hooks for Mother's Day one year. I think it was last year. And when he did that, they sent me the wrong sizes on several of the hooks. And I was like, why did you order doubles of this hook or doubles of that hook? He's all, I didn't, here's the receipt. And I never called them out on that. I never said, hey, you guys sent me the wrong hooks because I was just happy to have Furl's hooks, you know? And so um, the fact that she kind of accused me of lying, I, that infuriated me because there's one thing I am not, and I am not a liar. And you guys know this, I am honest to, sometimes to a fault. And so she's all, well, we don't even have the purple hook anyway. We, do you want another color? I was like, sure, send me pink. Like, if you got pink, send me pink. So she sent me the four millimeter hook in pink, but not before she basically accused me of being a liar. And so she just kept questioning me and questioning me. And I was like, if that's the way they're going to treat people who are actually promoting their product, like, I'm not sure I want to promote furls anymore. I love their hooks. Don't get me wrong, but I do not... I did not deserve being treated like that at all. And that just infuriated me. So I'm very excited to try these out and give you guys an absolute honest opinion on that versus the furls. Because if I have not had a single resin hook break, I have even dropped these a couple of times. I dropped this skinny old one and this didn't break. Not to say that they won't break if you don't take proper care of them. Um, I haven't had a a resin one break. I had a metal one break in my hand. So with that, they're too expensive to be breaking. They are way too expensive to be breaking, period. This tea is pretty good. It's hyping me up a little bit, which is funny because it's chamomile. Huh? <laughs> Must be the mango and the lemon. It's hyping me up. Mr. Cinnamon is texting me. I should probably end this. My videos have been kind of long lately. I've been very long-winded, very chatty. <laughs> I'd like to apologize for that, but I can't. 
it's just the moods that I'm in. I've been in a very, very chipper mood since I got finished with Premier Week, and I think that is contributing to the long-winded talkiness because I'm just so excited and I'm in such a good mood. And I don't know, even with my car breaking down and like stressing out and like dealing with other life troubles, like I still have been in a pretty chipper mood, and I think that's why I've been so chatty. So with that, check out Blend B. Blend B. What did I do with the card? Because now there's stuff all over. Um, if you're interested, I mean, you could always email them about the Cinnamon Stitches Blend and see what they say. Um, their contact email, well, you can contact them at support at blendbee.com. Um, tag and follow us at, at, at sign blendbee. They are located out of Sparks, Nevada. Very, very interesting. Cannot wait to share the next t two teas with you guys. And I'm going to let you go. And I will see you in the next one. And thank you. But by the way, thank you. Everyone who sends me happy mail. Um, you don't have to do that. You never have to do that. And I so appreciate that you take the time and the effort to send me personalized little packages. <laughs> of little cute things that you see. And you're like, hey, I bet she can use that. So I really do appreciate you. And I even appreciate the postcards and the, the love letters that you guys send me. I do keep all of those. Um, I appreciate you guys spending your postage money on sending me mail. Like, it means so much to me. And to have tea blended specially for me, that was really awesome. <laughs> so with all of that being said, I will let you go. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.